So on my last few videos, you guys can probably tell I'm preferring the show don't tell kind of method, uh, but I feel that this uh, needs a little bit of explanation just so that you guys know the right materials to use and things like that, or not the right materials, but the materials that I chose anyway for this. Um, so this is a pullout pantry. Uh, so it's like a sliding pantry that goes in beside the uh, fridge in our kitchen. Um, what this is gonna be used for is just holding cans and boxes and things like that. So. Uh, the rails that you see up here are going to be uh, lips that go across each one of the shelves uh, that just hold uh, the contents of the shelves in place so that whenever you're rolling it out it doesn't fall over. Um, the outer frame of this uh, right here and here and the tops and bottoms are uh, all made of poplar. Uh, I chose poplar because the finish on poplar, poplar is pretty smooth uh, and it's a relatively inexpensive wood. It's considered in the hardwoods, I believe, but it's a very soft hardwood. Um, so it should give me a little bit of uh, durability on the outside where the shelves themselves uh, are all pine. Uh, and pine is much cheaper and soft, um, but it's just for holding uh, the cans and boxes and it really isn't uh, gonna take too much abuse in there, hopefully. So, and it's gonna be entirely covered uh, by the uh, the poplar rails uh, that are gonna go across each uh, front and back of each shelf. So uh, that said, uh, I also just wanted to mention this is a project for my wife. She has been asking for this for a little while. And since I often make a lot of artistic things that don't really serve purpose other than for viewing pleasure, uh, this was an opportunity to make something that is practical and has function. So what she doesn't know is that I'm going to try to uh, add my own artistic flair into this so that it's a little more personalized. Uh, I'm going to try and do some stuff with the rails, uh, do some fancy design work on that, and then probably add some metal work in there as well because I can't do a project without doing some metal work. Uh, so I think I'll do some of that as well just to help finish this up and help personalize it so that it's her own custom thing and it's not just something that you could buy in a store. Um, I do have some wheels for the bottom. Uh, this is the bottom here. Um, I don't know if they're going to work yet. I'll kind of go through that in a, another short segment here. Um, but they're the rolling casters and that's what I would do uh, to, how, yeah, to allow you to pull it in and out of the uh, area beside the fridge. So, and I do have a handle that's also going to go uh, on the side as well. It's just going to go vertical so you can pull it this way. Um, all right, enough yapping. Time to get back to work.
All right, so I just sprayed down uh, all of these guard pieces here with some WD-40. Uh, I forgot to put the can up uh, before I sprayed them, so um, they're just sitting here drying right now. All that's gonna do is help seal them so they don't uh, rust or anything, uh, or at least helps prevent rusting uh, in the future. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys here was I had mentioned I had gotten uh, swivel casters before. So these were the swivel casters. Um, just get a little bit closer. So they have a bearing, they swing around. Um, the reason why I thought that these might not work and why they aren't going to work is because if you have two of these in relative close proximity like this, uh, whenever they swivel, they're gonna be hitting one another uh, and that's not gonna work uh, whenever the shelf gets pulled out and then put back in. Whenever you slide it back in, they're gonna try and swing around and they're gonna hit each other in that. Not to mention this goes a little bit off the plate on this side, so uh, because it's a tight fit in the wall uh, beside the fridge where I'm putting it, um, I don't want the wheels hitting the wall. So uh, what I did was I went and bought these ones. So these ones are just a single axis uh, caster. There's no swivel on them. Um, and since it's just gonna be pulled out and then slid back in, uh, I think that these are gonna work just fine. Plus they're, they're slightly less bulky, so, um, it might just make it a little bit easier and less cumbersome pulling it in and out. Um, I am gonna have to shave down the hardware just a little bit because the, uh, the points are actually gonna poke through the bottom of the uh, board, but uh, I'll pre-drill the holes and then uh, just sand those down basically a little bit, so. All right, so let's get back to that.
All right, so one last thing to note before uh, wrapping this video up. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys the way I dock the mechanism to the wall. Um, so that bar that I put in place on the top uh, and on the second last, or the I think it's the bottom, it's actually the bottom, uh, it's the top of the bottom shelf. Um, so the top of the top shelf and the top of the bottom shelf, there's the uh, steel rail. Um, what I did was I got these kind of uh, nearly circular hooks, uh, anchored them into the wall, and then that just serves as kind of a guide so that the whole thing, if it does decide to tip, doesn't tip towards you or away from you or anything like that. It just keeps it kind of anchored against the wall. Um, it doesn't have to be guided in there all the time. It's just kind of a safety kind of thing. Other designs of this that I saw on Pinterest and that didn't have anything like this. So I thought adding this would just add that little degree of safety. Um, but overall, it's working pretty well. A uh, little tiny bit creaky whenever the uh, metal touches the uh, hook, but, but not too bad overall. And if I didn't have tiles, it wouldn't be so bumpy, but it, it's just catching in the uh, grooves for the grout is all. Um, but that's that. That wraps it up. And that's the end of this one.